There is some major controversy going on right now in Pet Simulator 99 that we are going to have to talk about because this could have a huge effect on the market and the future of Pet Simulator 99. The reason for this controversy is basically a remote spam that was being done to basically exploit and allow for a ton of these cyber agonies to be opened into the game. As you can see, the total volume of these existing has basically doubled overnight, and this could be mostly attributed to that exploit. Now, the controversy actually doesn't have to do with that exploit itself, but it has to do with how the developers have responded to this exploit. In this video, I'm going to do my best to try to do a deep dive into what that exploit was, tell you guys what we know about how the devs have responded, and then go over some of the responses from the community and give my general thoughts on what the right thing to do is. Keep in mind, this is just the information that we know so far, so things could change pretty quickly and we haven't got an official response from big games or any of the developers themselves, so make sure to take this information with a grain of salt. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want the most up-to-date information on what is going on in Pet Simulator 99. Let's get right into it though because this is some juicy drama. As you guys know, I'm not a coder or a developer or anything, so a lot of these terms really don't make too much sense to me, but I'm going to try to explain to you what the exploit was. Basically what these guys did is called a remote spam where they would call in something for the server from the local side. So I'm not too sure how this works, but basically what they were able to do is just constantly keep opening these cyber agonies. And if we check the PS99 wrap website for the cyber agony, we could see the amount that has been opened in the last 24 hours has been pretty crazy. So here is the complete chart for how many of these cyber agonies have been opened over time. And you can see in the past 24 hours, we saw a huge spike. The total number according to this website is 24,000, but it could potentially be more depending on what is being counted by the API. So obviously this is a huge issue and someone being able to open thousands and thousands of huges for free is a big problem. If this issue had continued, it could have completely crashed the Pet Simulator 99 economy because we would see a huge influx of huge pets entering the market coming straight from just a few people that know this exploit. So while this is a major issue, the controversy actually does not come from the fact that this exploit exists. The major controversy going on right now is due to the fact that one of the developers by the name of Coder Joey has given out one of one rainbow shiny titanics to the four exploiters that reported this exploit to the developers. Yes, you heard that right. Rainbow shiny titanics. One of the most rare things in all of Pet Simulator 99 that you can obtain in the game. Now, I believe the news first broke when Kopi Cat on Twitter posted this image that I'll have on the screen here. Basically, it was a trade from one of the exploiters to the developer Joey, and Joey was basically giving him a one of one rainbow shiny Titanic in this image. Kopi then wrote in the caption that Coder Joey was basically giving four users these one of one Titanics so that he could know exactly how they were doing this exploit. Then we got this pic from Twitter of the four exploiters themselves with their new rainbow shiny titanics all in a line basically showing off that they were able to get these absolutely super rare pets for free for basically exploiting the game. Now a lot of members of the community were extremely angry about this because they felt like the developers were basically rewarding exploiters for exploiting the game and honestly it's pretty hard to argue with that. One of the most vocal members of the community that are very upset about this is Sizzle's Jelly Queen. Now, this is very understandable as they do a ton of very large trades on the game and they spend a lot of time and a lot of money on these sorts of things. As you guys know, Sizzle's is one of the richest players on the game and number nine on the total rap worldwide leaderboard, which is pretty insane. So... So it is understandable that they would be extremely upset about this development because adding these super rare Titanics to the game and adding them for free and giving them to people that exploit the game really hurts the economy for people who collect the more rare pets. And it honestly just sets a very bad precedent for the game. 
Now, I don't want to show too many tweets about this stuff because this information is extremely new and things could change as we learn more about the situation. We still haven't got a statement or anything from the developers themselves, so we should wait and see what they have to say and why they made the decision that they did. Kopi also tweeted this out saying that the exploiters were allowed to keep all of those cyber agonies that they basically just spawned into the game. So on top of those titanics, they are making absolute bank off of just exploiting the game and getting a ton of free huges. And honestly, with all the bad press surrounding big games and the latest update that we got that had a lot of disappointments for people in the community, people are probably super upset. If Big Games doesn't release a statement about this issue, this could leave a lot of people very upset with the game and it could be a breaking point for a lot of people. Now, a super common theory that I've been seeing go around that does make sense and that would give the developers the benefit of the doubt is that they just enticed these cheaters to basically expose the exploit that they were using so that they could get a fix going out as soon as possible. And then afterwards, they could potentially ban them and take the rainbow shiny Titanics away so that they no longer exist once again. Now, if this is the case, I think this would help big games reputation a lot because maybe they were just trying to do whatever they could possibly do to get this exploit patch before it was too late and it actually harmed the game to a point where they couldn't recover. In my mind, that actually does make sense because if they were able to keep exploiting this and more people learned about the exploit and we ended up getting even more of these huges added to the game, that could have really hurt the economy and the state of the game as a whole. Now, I do understand rewarding some ethical hackers that go ahead and try to find exploits so that the developers can patch them before bad hackers find them, but that does not seem like what was happening in this situation. I don't think these people were doing it to try to help the game. Now, if Big Games does want to reward these ethical hackers for helping stop the exploiters in the game, they should be giving out other outside benefits and not stuff that is going to affect the economy and hurt players that actually play the game and have spent so much time dedicated to getting the most rare things in the game. Again, I think this just sets a really bad precedent that exploiters get rewarded and that legit players get nothing. Now, I will give the developers the benefit of the doubt until we hear what they have to say about what's going on. I think this combined with the disappointments of Update 8 have been a very big hit on the game and the morale of people in the community. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Remember to join my Discord in the description so that you have access to this information as it's coming out because we give news on basically everything that is going on in the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.